What's up, Internet? My name is Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button. We're breaking down everything that happened on last night's episode of Celebrity Big Brother, as well as what's been happening in the past two days on the live feeds. I'll tell you, it hasn't been much. Uh, I do apologize for no video yesterday, but again, there's a couple of reasons for that. The biggest reason, there wasn't much going on inside the house. I'll be honest with you. It was very boring in there. Uh, the biggest scandals were Cardgate, where Lamar tore up uh, Todrick's uh, playing cards that he apparently ordered. Uh, Todrick complaining about being in the costume, but also loving that he's in the costume. He can't make up his mind on which is which. And uh, other than that, just a lot of boring talk about life who, who wants that we want big brother talk we want game talk uh and there wasn't a lot of that uh going on on the feeds uh but let's break down the episode go kind of go beat by beat uh talk about what's been happening the episode as well kind of boring not much going on uh a lot of things that we already knew and things that uh we kind of speculated just by how events turned out uh so first off we saw the fallout of um uh, uh Shayna being voted out Lamar actually on uh the couches saying that he was like yeah I was thinking about just voting out Misha I didn't want to make the decision Lamar yes <laughs> Lamar is like that lone bright star that's still left in this game that just gives so much pleasure and enjoyment uh to watching the feeds and watching uh the episodes uh, he brings he brings a lot of fun and chaos into uh, into the Big Brother house, and and I'm all for it. <laughs> so that that happened, and really, other than that, we moved into the HOH competition. They were given a nasty smoothie cocktail to drink with different uh, ingredients. They had to identify which ingredients were which, and uh, it was you know pretty basic competition that anybody really could have won, and that anybody. Just so happened to be Todd Bridges. Todd Bridges is your HOH, kind of a, a very odd HOH uh, for this season. Not exactly uh, someone you expected to win an HOH. It just kind of came out of nowhere, and that was one of those competitions anybody could have won. Uh, after that, he had to choose who was put in the costume. He chose Todrick and Lamar, uh, neither of which were happy about this, though I think Todrick was playing it up a little bit more uh, about being upset. I think he was really loving the attention, but yeah, it, it was what it was. They had a, a lime and mojito costume. They had to be bound together for 24 hours. Uh, neither of them were particularly happy. Other than that, there were some talks about, you know, what Todd was going to do with his HOH, who he was going to nominate, what are the best strategies moving forward. But when I say strategy talk, I mean at a very minimum. It was not much talk about it going on at all. Everybody kind of knew what was happening. It was mainly whether he wanted to put Carson and Cynthia up or just put one of them up. He decided to only put Carson up and then he put Lamar up as a pawn. I guess he didn't want to piss off Misha or Todrick. I thought he, I guess he thinks that would be a really bad mood for him at this point. Uh, but that's what he ended up going with. So uh, those are your nominees as we ended the episode. Uh, it was Carson and Lamar. They were on the block. Now, that kind of wraps up the episode, and then we can get into some of the live feed stuff that happened yesterday. Uh, there was a veto competition. And, uh, really there was only one scenario kind of left, uh, just like last week where it was like, uh, just maybe this is how it works out and we get something good. That was with, if Cynthia was able to win the veto and pull Carson off the block, they both would have been safe. Todd would have had to put up either Misha or Todrick, but in the end, Misha wins the veto she holds it Carson will be going home this week um Todrick and Misha should both be voting him out uh and then Cynthia would probably vote to keep Carson but I don't see any way for Carson to stay at this point in the game uh he's pretty much come to terms with that as well uh he was trying to set up um uh, Cynthia for her ro road going forward inside the game making sure she has a plan 
but I I don't think it matters what plan you have. You could have the best plan in the world. I don't think anything's going to stop uh, the uh, train that is Misha and Tajik at this point uh, with their competitions. And the rest of the house have realized that, right? Like Cynthia, Todd, and Lamar, they're just like, we're kind of screwed, aren't we? We need to win this next stage OH, right? Like, we need this. And they're like, yeah, we kind of need it. Because Misha and Todd are going to win. Put two of them up. Even if one of them wins veto, there's a third option. And it's going to end up being two on two. And they, they, they're they going to have the numbers. And not only are they going to have the numbers, they're going to have the strength to beat them in the competitions. And I just don't see it going well for uh, the rest of the house. I think this ends up being a Misha Todrick steamroll to the final two, unless one of them decides to turn on the other or somebody comes in uh, clutch with a veto win. Uh, so the rest of this season, maybe a little predictable, maybe a little predictable. Uh, but again, it's kind of what I was telling you guys. The feeds have been pretty boring. Not Nothing major has been going on. Uh, as far as game wise, nothing major is really going on either. Uh, it's kind of like in poker when, uh, you're, you're drawing dead, all your outs are disappearing as you know, here comes the, the river and the turn and it's like, well, I got nothing. I got nothing. The flop came and there's some hope next car. Next. Oh, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Right. And that's kind of how it's been going. It's like every step. It's like, maybe, maybe there's still a little, like a 1%. Nope. Nope. We're out of it. Uh, so they, yeah, that pretty much covers the episode and live feeds. Like you said, this might have been the shortest update uh, on, and recap on an episode and live feeds uh, that we've ever had. But I do have a little padding, some extra stuff uh, I wanted to talk about uh, for a bit. And that is Big Brother 10, Big Brother Canada 10, uh, which is premiering March 2nd. We're just uh, two weeks away from it now at this point. Uh, we will be watching Big Brother Canada 10 in two weeks time uh, on uh, March 3rd, uh, which is two weeks from today. It will be the second premiere episode uh, of Big Brother Canada 10. They're doing a two night premiere. So I'm really excited for that. Now, from what I've heard, the cast is already sequestered. They've already put them uh, up in hotels and they have them away. Um, may seem a little early but this is for two reasons one i don't think necessarily the cast is officially official yet uh and two i'm sure they have extra people as well right so they have the uh the the, the big brother canada cast have been a little bit smaller uh in recent years around um you know 14 15 people which actually i think is a nice number for big brother uh you don't want it to be too big of a house because it gets a little crazy in those first few weeks. Uh, and that's how those big alliances start. Uh, so usually right around that, that happy medium of around like uh, 12 to 14 is actually pretty good for Big Brother. Uh, but they'll have, you know, that, that number of people in sequester. They'll also have some extra people in case people have to drop out for whatever reason. Uh, some alternates in there. We should be getting a cast announcement. Uh, within the next two weeks, uh, maybe next week, uh, by this time next week, we'll have uh, the official cast announcement. Um, usually, Big Brother Canada doesn't do night one live feeds. They'll usually move them in for about a week. They'll film the, like the first like two episodes or so, and then they'll go and jump into the live feeds after the first eviction. Uh, so I don't expect uh, anything different on that end. So I'd imagine... They'll be moving into the house uh, either Wednesday or Thursday of next week um, before the March 2nd or 3rd uh, premiere. And once that happens is when we'll get an actual cast announcement, when they'll actually tell us who is going to be on the season. Um, in between that time, we should get a house tour of uh, some kind as well, kind of showing off what the house will look like. Big Brother Canada always knocks it out of the park with their their themes and designs of their house. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is kind of the Big Brother Canada news uh, that we have going on. That as well as all seasons, except for season eight, which really isn't even that much of a season anyway, are now on Paramount+. Plus. So if you have never seen Big Brother Canada and you live uh, in the United States, easiest way that you could possibly watch it now, it is on Paramount+. Plus Every season. 
there was talk about like not having season four on there and stuff like that. But no, all the seasons are on there except for eight. And again, eight was a, a COVID year. It was the first year of COVID. Uh, I think two people got evicted, three people self evicted. It was, it was not a good season. So not even worth really even looking up. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check out Big Brother Canada, they're all on Paramount Plus. It is a little worrying because uh, recently I was just talking about how um, all the Australian survivors are on Paramount Plus, but they just went and disappeared. So all the seasons were just put on and now they were taken off. So it's a little worrying if you're like, hey, I want to jump into Big Brother Canada and then it would get pulled off at some point. But they just got put on there. I imagine they're going to be on there for a while. So if you wanted to check those out, you could do that uh, and cram some of them in. If you want recommendations on which seasons are, are must watch. One, two, and three are fantastic, classic Big Brother. Um, there's some twist stuff that Big Brother Canada does that's a little bit different than the American uh, Big Brother. But honestly, I feel like most of it adds to the game, then takes away from the game. Uh, some of them were a little unfair, but also, hey, that's Big Brother. It's not fair, you know? Um, season 5 may be one of the best uh, seasons of Big Brother in all format. So Big Brother Canada 5, another one to check out. Uh, and then I think it's on there, the most recent one, Big Brother Canada 9, was a fantastic season of Big Brother. Uh, so those are probably my recommendations. If you want to cram some in before BB Can 10, 1, 2, 3 five and nine now there was another interesting announcement and it actually comes from the world of the challenge but very much involves uh big brother um and some other things too uh so the challenge uh if you guys aren't aware of the challenge i don't know who's not aware of the challenge if you uh watch reality tv sh at all it's been running for decades now at this point uh you started off as the real world versus the road rule challenge those two shows would compete against each other in competitions uh it has evolved into its own beast now at this point with not just people from those shows people from other mtv properties uh in recent seasons they've started bringing in people from big brother um people like uh fessy and casey uh josh from uh, bb19 Bailey and Devon have both played with Swaggy C uh, as well, playing uh, on at least one season. Survivor players uh, have played on there as well. I think there's been a couple of Amazing Race people that have played already. But uh, beyond the point, they're, they've been expanding who has been on the show more and more, looking for uh, people to be on there. Uh, but now they're even, I think, deciding not to expand their, their casting pool but just to expand the band, the brand, period, right? So one of the ones um, that was announced was All Star Shore. Uh, the way I was reading the description of it, it's going to be a, a Paramount Plus exclusive, so it's only going to be on Paramount Plus. But what they're doing is pretty much they're doing all the different versions of the Jersey Shore, things like the Jordy Shore, which, by the way, if you have never seen Jordy Shore, it's Jersey Shore, but in the UK, it's fantastic. One of the greatest lines in all of reality TV. Spooning will become forking <laughs> real quick. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't seen Jordy Shore, you have to definitely go check that out. Uh, apparently, there's Acapello Shore. They're also going to do Love is Blind, uh, Bachelor in Paradise. Even RuPaul's Drag Race is supposed to be incorporated with this. And I think it's going to be some kind of challenge-esque show uh with people from all those different iterations of uh the sure uh franchise but not only that we're also getting the challenge cbs so this has been announced to air this summer right so this is coming quick if it hasn't already been filmed it's being filmed now uh and we had heard rumors of different big brother survivor people being contacted uh for a new challenge spin-off or show we weren't sure exactly uh how this was all going to manifest but from what we understand it will be uh on cbs it will air this summer on cbs the main network not on paramount plus or anything like that 
So I'd imagine this might run side by side with uh, Big Brother this season. Uh, potentially right before Big Brother starts. Uh, we'll, we'll see how the scheduling all works, but it's going to be right around uh, all the same time. We also have Survivor, uh, the new season of Survivor coming up as well. But what it is, it's the challenge, but no people from MTV, no people from other shows, just CBS shows. So we're talking Big Brother, The Amazing Race, and Survivor. Um, there's been a few people who have done all three already, I believe. Uh, well, actually, no, I don't think anybody's done all three of the trifecta. We were possibly going to have, uh, with the casting rumors for this celebrity season, uh, Boston Rob, he would have been the first one to complete the trifecta. Uh, but there's been plenty of people that have competed on Big Brother and the Amazing Race and the Amazing Race and Survivor, uh, Survivor and Big Brother. So there's been people who have done two, but nobody's ever done all three. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see who they get on the cast, who's going to end up being on uh, this challenge season, which would basically be a CBS reality all-stars competition. So this could be a lot of fun uh, to see happen. They also announced an international uh, version. It's like a giant competition between, I, I, I think it was uh, America, Australia, a whole bunch of different countries. Uh, and then they're going to have kind of like a tournament and eventually they all meet uh, in one big world champion of the challenge. Uh, so, yeah, they're really expanding their brand on what the challenge is going forward. So that's going to be uh, kind of cool to see how this goes. The challenge has always been one of those shows I'll keep up on. Right. I won't, you know, watch it religiously, but maybe it's something I have to keep up on a little bit more. If you guys are interested in hearing more about what's going on in the challenge world, uh, potentially do some episode recaps and things like that. Kind of breaking down what's happening on there. That is something that we could add to the channel as well. Yeah, that pretty much covers uh, all the information we have on these new projects, new shows, as more and more information comes out and develops. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, we do uh, episode recaps for Big Brother, live feed updates. We're going to be jumping into Big Brother Canada 10 here. Uh, in just about two weeks, uh, we have the finale of Celebrity Big Brother next week. Uh, it's a wild, wild ride going on right now uh, in the reality TV world. And I'm glad that you guys are here to watch it with me. So once again, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. My name's been Ori, and I will see you next time.